Hey what's up guys, welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to Minecraft Monday! In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Fabled Weaponry mod, a mod that adds a lot of cool new weapons, all with different sprites and just overall mechanics. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Starting off with our first new weapon, which is going to be the Iron Greatsword. Um, this one looks really cool. And it is giant, look at that. It's like almost double the size of my player character. Um, I also have these dummies here to test out the damage. Okay, looking at the stats, it's 8 attack damage and 1.2 attack speed. A normal sword would be 6 attack damage and 1.6 attack speed. And an axe would be 9 attack damage and 0.9 attack speed. So, it's a little bit weaker than a normal axe, but still a lot stronger than an iron sword. The damage per second is going to be, wait, let's uh, wait for that to go away. 3.89 um, for the sword, it's going to be 2.72. And for the axe, it's going to be 2 damage per second. So, this one is a little bit better. And it is just really menacing when you... <laughs> Imagine just running towards someone with this sword, it's just insane. And for the crafting recipe, it's just going to be a stick at the bottom of the crafting table, a normal, a normal iron sword right here, and then an iron block at the top, and then you will get the iron great sword. Next up, we have the iron war axe, which is also really big and looks really cool. It has a really cool, like, sprite, and it does 7.62 damage. Let's take a look at the normal Iron Axe, 2.1, and the sword is going to be 1.93. Okay, 6 attack damage compared to 8, so it is somewhere in between, but if we look at the... Oh, it's literally the same. You can just choose which one you want more. Okay, um, this one is going to be a little bit more expensive because you use two sticks, an Iron, an iron Axe, and an, a block of iron, so... In the long run, this one would be um, more expensive, but yeah, it's about the same thing actually. Then we have the Iron Maul, um, one of my favorite um, weapons in this mod because it actually has a 3D model. This is made from two iron blocks, a pickaxe in the middle of the um, top row, and then two sticks underneath it. Um, you're actually, I think, slower when you have this in your hand. No, okay, I was wrong. <laughs> it's the same speed. It does 9 attack damage, so the same as the normal Iron Axe, but it has 1 attack speed. So, 11 damage per second, and the Iron Axe, 3.93. So, I don't know. Um, it's just a cooler weapon, but... I st I'm thinking about when you would actually use it to um, replace any of the vanilla um, like weapons and tools because when comparing them it doesn't really seem to be that big of a difference. Uh, most of these um, weapons also just are here for like when you want to like role play um, medieval like battles and stuff like that. These are perfect so it's not really to replace the vanilla weapons and tools. Then next up we have the Iron Scythe, which is going to be a way cooler version of the hoe. It's um, the same crafting recipe as the War Axe, but instead of an axe it's going to be a hoe. And this one does 10 attack damage and 1 attack speed. This is pretty cool. 9.52 damage per second compared to the axe, that's going to be 4.31, okay. So this one is actually really good, I actually really like that one. And for the cheapest weapon in this whole mod, it's going to be the Iron Dagger. This one just uses one stick and one piece of iron. Um, what I also forgot to say is that I chose the iron variants, but all of the like normal vanilla um, materials can be used. So you can use wood, iron, gold, diamond, and then netherite. Um, yeah, that's how you make it. But So you could just uh, replace this with a diamond and it would give you the Diamond Dagger. And looking at the stats, it's 3 attack damage and 1.6 attack speed, so I think this one is as fast as a sword, yeah, but it just does half the damage, okay. That is, just for like starting off, a pretty cool weapon. Next up we have the Iron Scimitar, um, also a pretty big sword, not as big as the Great Sword of course, and this one is made from one stick in the bottom corner, 
um, with three iron ingots or any type of material in this shape, in like an L shape. That is inverted and mirrored, okay? <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. Um, what this has is six attack damage and 1.6 1.6 attack speed. So it's literally just um, a retextured iron sword. But it is really cool. I love the design. It's just like a way cooler iron sword. Then moving on, we have the iron mace, which is... Um, pretty fitting because the new Minecraft update is almost coming out with the new mace. This one will do 6 attack damage and 1.4 attack speed, so it's a little slower than the than the sword, but it still does some decent damage. And this is the the crafting recipe, one stick and just one block of the like resource you're trying to use. Then now we're moving on from the like melee weapons. Now we are in the ranged category. We have the iron longbow made from two pieces of the resource you want to use, then three sticks, and then, well, this is actually just the normal bow recipe, but just enhanced. Um, let's take some arrows out of um, the crafting um, menu. Um, I'm just gonna take normal ones. And normally this one should shoot way farther than the Vanilla bow. Wait, let's test that out. Let's test that out. Okay, I'm on the same spot and I'm aiming at the same um, direction. Let's see. Oh my god. That is actually way further. Look at this. Oh my god. I think it even has like one, two, three. And this one only has one, two, three. Okay, that is cool. I thought that this was just going to be like a stronger bow, but it also shoots further, so that's really cool. Okay, let's stand on top of this, shoot it with this one, and this is going to be 5.71 damage per second. And then with the long bow, 2.97? Maybe because you can only shoot slow. No idea. Um, so. The dummy is telling me that the normal bow is better, but I like this one way more. Then we also have the Iron Ballista. So, three pieces of the resource you want to use, two pieces of string, a tripwire hook, and one stick. Let's take it out. This one is kind of just like an upgraded version of the um, crossbow because you can also load it. And now we have a loaded little ballista right here let's take a look at the difference between these two so 9.52 damage per second and the ballista 5.47 so maybe this one can also shoot further let's see we're going to stand on this block shoot like this and now the crossbow let's see okay so they just shoot farther oh wow that is a long distance okay i'm not even gonna get that <laughs> so damage wise these two new bows aren't actually that much better but in distance wise it's wow that is insane now we also have two new shields the iron ages i don't know how to pronounce that <laughs> we have one piece of wood in the middle then four feathers um in the corners and then the resource you want to use like um at the top, the bottom, and the left and the right of the wooden block right here. And this one just looks really cool. Um, I don't really know what the benefit is of using this one over the normal shield. But the, well, if you just have a lot of feathers lying around, I think this one would be better. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't really have any idea why you would use this one over the normal vanilla shield. Then we also have the final item of this mod, which is going to be the Iron Bulwark, which I actually, I misspelled that, I used two L's. Um, this one is like a whole, like, um, shield from, like, Fortnite and stuff. It has, like, the hole that you can look through. It's really cool. Um, and it's really big. I don't think, I don't actually know if this one is able to, like... Um, the flex projectiles better than a normal shield or better than this one because this one is smaller I don't think it works like that, but yeah, it just I don't know <laughs> This one is made from five pieces of the resource you want to use and two pieces of wood 
And that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and maybe consider subscribing. You can also join my uh, memberships um, via the join button underneath this video. So be sure to take a look. You don't have to, but it's really interesting. And yeah, that was it for today's video. I hope you liked it. And yeah, until the next video, bye bye.